What's up guys, Mike here from The Art of Guitar. Today here with a public service announcement uh, when it comes to uh, keeping your back healthy when you're practicing for a long period of time. And I've been noticing, you know, the last month or so, my back started getting a little bit weird. I would go to bed with a little bit of a backache. And it's because I was practicing for that 100 Greatest Guitar Solos videos, the series that I was doing. And I was doing a lot of practicing, watching TV as I did it, or staring at my computer. And I also started doing kettlebell training a little bit during that time, so I thought it was because of the kettlebells that my back was hurting. But it turns out it was because I was sitting incorrectly as I was practicing for long periods of time. We're talking two to three to four hours a night. And what would happen is I'd sit at the end of my couch, and my legs would go off to the on an angle like this kind of, because I have like a coffee table thing that's right here. And I would hold the guitar on this leg, and I would watch TV or I'd stare at my computer screen like this. So I'd be twisting a little bit for a long period of time. And the human body likes to be symmetrical, you know? So if something's a little bit off, even if you have a big wallet in one pocket, over time that could actually affect your back because you're sitting a little bit crooked all the time. So that's a little quick tip that I've found out the hard way as well. But sitting with your guitar on this leg, having your legs off to the side and staring forward for a long period of time can actually do the same thing. It can start to tweak your lower back. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna try something that I've avoided for a long time, which is to put the guitar on the other leg. So I just went like this when I was kind of experimenting to try to heal my back. And I practiced like this for a couple days and it made all the difference. So I know a few shredders, my student Dan practices like this all the time. And uh, you'll start to notice that right off the bat, the guitar sits a little bit differently, but it's not that far away from when you're standing and playing. You know, it's probably gonna be about here. This is just a little bit shifted over. Uh, it's a little bit harder to reach the lower frets. It's more of a, a reach, but that's not a huge deal, actually, because if you relax your elbow, you can still reach pretty well to the first fret. So that's not a huge thing. But the best advantage to this is that you're sitting straight, even if you're staring at a screen, or in this case, a camera for me, or watching TV at night or whatever. Uh, for hours at a time, if you sit like this and practice, I noticed I was getting no pain and I actually healed my back in about a week. Now, that being said, if I'm just going to practice for a short time or when I teach, I still keep the guitar on this leg because I'm not going to be twisting funny when I'm teaching. What I'm going to do is I'll probably actually turn like this. So I'm playing and I'm still facing this way. You notice my body and my legs are aligned. I just have to bring my guitar over to the side a little bit. I didn't want to really do that when I was practicing at home because my computer was right here on that coffee table. So I thought I would smack it. So I think that's why I was turning like this while my legs were avoiding the table. So just an awkward sitting position altogether. So to sum up, if you feel like your back's getting tweaked when you're practicing for long periods of time, try the leg switch like this. I know in my introductory video, I said, make sure you do this when you start off. And I still stand by that. But um, classical players and a lot of shredders go to this leg when they practice. It just seems to be easier to hit the higher frets when you're playing for shredders. And it also just feels comfortable for a lot of classical players. So let's give it a try. If you're having lower back issues, uh, just switching to the other leg for a while and see what happens. Okay. All right, guys, I hope that helps some of you guys out. I just had uh, one of my subscribers ask that question. It was kind of like, that's weird. I was just going to make this video today. And it was just kind of a timely thing. So hopefully it catches you guys in time before you hurt your back like I did. Alright guys, catch you later. Thanks.